Hello and welcome back to the art room with Mr. Eck. Today we're going to be learning about portraits. A portrait is a picture or a drawing or a painting of a person that is mostly just their face. So it's like their face, their neck, their shoulders, and that's about it. That's what a portrait is. And we're going to be making a portrait today, but we are going to be making a portrait of a barnyard animal. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do that. And then you will get to make your barnyard portrait and you get to choose what kind of animal you want. I've got some different examples you can look at, which I will show you later on in this video. So let's go ahead and start drawing. Since a portrait is mostly just the person's um, head and shoulders, then we need to draw really big. So the face should fill up most of our paper. So I'm going to start off with a great big circle. And if you have trouble making a circle, guess what? It does not have to be perfect. Just do your best and it will be fine. Next, oh, by the way, I'm using black paper because the kind of colors we're working on, working with, show up really good on black paper. Anyway, moving on. So, start with a circle, then do a bump all the way off the bottom of your page, and a bump. That's going to be our head and our body. Next, um, I'm going to be drawing a pig today, by the way. I'm going to draw a circle for the nose, two circles inside for the nostrils, and there's his eyes, and pigs have big triangle ears. That right, looks pretty good. I'm going to give him a, I'm going to give him a little smile, because he's a happy pig. And then I'm going to give two lines on here, that way we can see that his arms are over there. Alright, so that's what we're going to do first. Next, we're going to be coloring with a special kind of crayon called a construction paper crayon that shows up really good on dark paper. So I've got my pink construction paper crayon, and I'm going to color very, very solidly. I'm going to do that time lapse to save time, and uh, then I'm going to show you what we're doing with the background. So let's color our animal first. All right, now we're going to decorate the background with line patterns. That's what we've been working on the last few weeks in class. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on one side. I'm going to go till I get my pig, and I'm going to pick it up on the other side. So if I start a wavy line here, I'm going to start it back on the other side of my pig and keep it going all the way off the page. And if I do a zigzag, go to the pig and then pick it up on the other side. If I do, what other kinds of lines? If I, I could do a castle line, any kind of pattern works. I'm going to make uh, kind of a sideways wavy line. That would be kind of fun. There you go. And good old, let's see. I'm going to do a straight line because you don't want to forget the straight line. He works so hard. And then I'm going to end with a big curly cue. All right. Now I'm going to color each area between my lines a different color with my construction paper crayons. And then lastly, we'll outline it in black to make it look really, really nice. So next up is coloring the background. Lastly, we need to trace our lines one more time with, uh, with black to make sure that all our lines are very easy to see. And I'm going to be using a plain black crayon. I don't have a black construction paper crayon. I'm going to use a plain black crayon to trace all my lines right now. A few other animal ideas you might consider. With just a few changes, you could draw a cow, a chicken, or a sheep. 
And for my students in class, I'm going to leave this up so you get the option of which animal you would like to draw. And this is my finished barnyard portrait. I think you turned out super fun. The really important thing to remember is to color very, very solidly and to uh, be very careful when you're outlining your lines with that black crayon at the end and it turns out looking fantastic. So I hope you have fun making your barnyard portrait and I'll see you next time in the art room.